night. Now, last evening, in our ongoing probe into the underhand dealings of murder suspect John Matara, we reported on how police stand accused of failing to investigate reports about Matara from as far as a year ago. Tonight, we have established that the suspect needed a small team of men and women who terrorized men seeking sexual favors in suburbs such as Roy Sambu and beyond. Here is our Brian Obuya with that report. Maureen is the only lady in the escort business who came out openly to agitate for speedy investigations into the murder of their friend Starlet Wahoo and a further probe into other violent acts linked to the main suspect, John Matara. We took great interest in this statement in the course of our last interview. It's funny that in one of the incidents, Unonakama John Matara, he was a husband pretending that amepatamutu na bibi yake. In another incident, he was a getaway taxi driver. It has been intimated to us that John Matara did not operate alone and did not have one modus operandi. He came in many forms and with a professional team. NTV now understands that Matara worked with a lady identified as Marion. Marion lures men through dating sites to meeting her in rented houses for a night of business. Pieces of evidence now show that immediately the duo gets down to work. Matara and another man yet to be named storms the house, accusing the clients of having an affair with his wife. The clients, mostly foreigners, are beaten before being robbed. The following is an audio clip from a lady we will name Stella. Stella is a Rwandese who operates an Airbnb. She shared this WhatsApp audio clip with a friend, and while she shares the story with us freely, she's afraid of going on record for fear of persecution. Imagine, unona iyo pesa yenye nimekutumia ya mpesa, muna ijere wa mefanyua vituko haki ya mungu, kuna mademo wa kombadu. Banajifanya ni watu wazuri wanaendaka kubanachukua uh, Airbnb bana bana chat na wao wa Nigeria wanasema hiyo ni nyumba yao sasa huo mdem Nigeria ataenda kumsalimia kama anajua ni nyumba ya dem akishafika hapo anamuiti anaitaga wanaume hao wanaume wanakuja kwa BNB hii nyumba haikuagi yake sasa banakuja wanaataki mu Nigeria mu Nigeria wanamunyonga bana wanamwambia leta pini yako Leta mpesa pini yako. Alafu unaona wewe unaenda kukufa. Si lazimu utapea na pini yako ya mpesa. Wanachukua kwa pesa zako zote ziko kwa mpesa wanakura. On the side debt, the victim was a Nigerian national. He was beaten before Matara left with the ladies and locked him up after transferring some 29,000 Kenya shillings from his phone to a mobile number registered in the name of a Mr. Ndabi. Batagushika kwa nguvu, bakunyonge shingo, Alafu tume pesa. Utapea na pini yako ya mpesa wa tume pesa wa jitumie. Kwa hii namba. They are Nigerians. And the police only concentrate on police, on extorting their money and not helping in situations where it is needed that they are protected. Marion, who is a saloonist in Rueru by day and something else by the night, decides her gender based on their next victim. For Maureen, while she admits the gray zone in the legality of their business, she has had enough of the morality question. Let people stop looking at the girls like bad people and shaming them because who are the clients to these girls? These girls are serving so many men out there. They are married men and yet the society does not look at the, at the married men who are the, are the clients to these ladies with that same immorality angle that they do look at with the, uh, to the girls. So let people just coexist and don't normalize or justify a crime now now wanze kusema mtu ana deserve hiyo kitu imemfanyikia because of the job anafanya ntv has now separately begun looking into the involvement of an upcoming kajiado politician in the matara saga the politician is accused of luring women with the promise of paying them between 15000 and 25000 for a steamy night before robbing them of their electronics money and sex. This investigations unit is reliably informed with pieces of evidence here and there that once the man steals from his victims, he is picked by Matara, this time around working as a taxi driver. Coincidentally, this incident you are currently looking at took place at Papino Apartments, where Starlet was murdered. Brian Obuya, NTV.